But first, it's the story that nobody wanted to hear, the real-life drama which saw reporters uncover child abuse within the Catholic Church in Boston. Or well, playing the lawyer who represented the multiple victims in the new Oscar-nominated movie Spotlight is actor Stanley Tucci, who, who is here now. Welcome back. Welcome. Lovely to Thank see you. you. Lovely Thank to you. have you. I watched this a couple of days ago. My God, what a movie. And I sat there it dumbstruck at yeah. the scale of what these guys uncovered. So this is about 2001. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the Boston Globe newspaper has this uh, investigative team uh, which can take a year to write a story. And the new editor sets them off on, because it looked like there had been a cover-up uh, of, uh, of, of one priest by the archbishop, right. um, sets them off on looking at this story. And then it all unfolds. Yeah. And so when you, when you looked at that, were you stunned at the scale of what they uncovered? Yeah, c completely, uh, completely stunned. I mean, you, you, we knew that this was happening. I think people have always known this mm. is happening. There have been cases of it. And, but, but the scope of it, the scale of it, and the insidiousness of it um, is what was so profoundly disturbing for everyone who, who made the film. And, um, well, they looked, so they were looking at one, and then it turned into 13. Yeah. And then on further research, turned into the average in each city would mm. be about 90. Yeah. It turned out in Boston there were 87 yeah. mm. pe priests in the Catholic Church who yeah. were abusing children. Right. And that, and that is mirrored throughout the world. Throughout the world, yeah. In every archdiocese, in, in every country. So tell us a little bit about your, your part in, in this movie. Who are you? I play uh, Mitchell Garabedian, who is the uh, lawyer for, the, for these uh, victims. And he's been doing this for about 20 years now. Uh, and everybody thought he's not the most uh, sort of, he's very socially minded, but he's not the most socially comfortable mm. person. He's very wary. Yes, he's very wary, and uh, and I was advised not, not to even meet him. Oh, really? Yeah. I was going to ask you that. Yeah, no, I never met him, and the, the, uh, the director and writer met him, uh, and but he's very wary. He's very kind of paranoid um, because he has been thwarted left and right by the Catholic Church and by uh, other, other institutions. Um, in just trying to get justice. Well, they were going back to the, the 80s. This is the, when it all started in 2001. I think yeah. in 2002, the team won a Pulitzer Prize for it, so um, for the work that they'd done. Um, what did he say to you when you asked him if it was still going on now? He said, uh, you know, I, finally, I did finally talk to him after, after the, the film came out in, in, in America, and he, lo and he loved the film. He absolutely he loved it, yeah. He was, and he said, he said, I said, has it quieted down since the film, since it's all been sort of brought up again? He said, yes, it has, but there's still, he said, they'll always figure out ways to abuse kids. Um, and they'll always figure out ways to cover it up. Um, Gosh, that's horrible. Which is horrifying. But, and he, but he did send me an email um, saying that the movie has made such a tremendous positive impact on the, on the victims and their families because it, they feel like they've been given a voice for the first mm -hmm. time and that gives them some hope. It, it, there's stories in the, in the film of a 90-year-old man, like an 80, 90-year-old man talking to someone saying, finally, finally, yeah. you know, sort of co coming clean and holding this, sh this shame with him his whole life. It also looks um, at the fact that you've, you've got two crimes here, really. Mm. You've got the abuse itself yeah. and then you've got this extraordinary cover-up yeah that goes with that right and and it, almost to the point where I mean it, it's so huge the cover-up and involving so many people it's extraordinary people in massive power yes people in massive power and it goes all the way up I mean it goes it goes all the way up to the Vatican mm. and um, the the thing is it, it, these are institutions that we are supposed to have faith in yes. that we're supposed to trust and if we can't trust them then you just don't know who can you trust it's a horrible abuse of of people physically, of people mentally, and, and of their faith. Mm. And, and it's the opposite of the, the tenets of Christianity. Yeah.